SpinWrite is a computer software program for scanning magnetic data storage devices such as hard disks, recovering data from them and refreshing their surfaces. The first version was released in 1988. Version 6.0, still current as of September 2014, was released in 2004. SpinWrite is run from a bootable medium on a PC-compatible computer. It uses its own operating system and ignores the one installed, whether functional or not. History, Steve Gibson stated during episode 410 of Security Now that he originally wrote SpinWrite as a hard drive interleave tool. At the time SpinWrite was designed, hard drives often had a defect list printed on the nameplate, listing known bad sectors discovered at the factory. In changing the drives interleave, SpinWrite needed to be able to remap these physical defects into different logical sectors. SpinWrite therefore gained its data recovery and testing capabilities as a side effect of its original purpose. Gibson states that today, drive interleave is no longer an issue, but the data recovery features of SpinWrite proved to be so useful that it evolved into the data recovery tool that it is today. October 11, 1988, Edward Mendelssohn and Greg L. Stark did a first looks piece on SpinWrite for PC Mac. They commented how the explanations in its manual made its use simple for all. Their review covered some of its original functions, and indicated their determination of the use of the program. Tom Bigley did a short piece on SpinWrite 2, in the 19th March 1990 edition of InfoWorld. In it he gives a brief outline of SpinWrite functions and operations, and reasons for why it was doing what it does. He concluded that the program would be a worthwhile tool to purchase. Later on in the 10th December 1990 InfoWorld, did a benchmark comparison piece, reviewing the functions of SpinWrite 2, and five other hard disk utilities. Next to the comparison chart is another short editorial on SpinWrite's unique functions and abilities. Features, SpinWrite tests the data surfaces of writable magnetic disks, including IDE, SATA and floppy disks. It analyzes their contents and can refresh the magnetic disk surfaces to allow them to operate more reliably. SpinWrite attempts to recover data from hard disks with damaged portions that may not be readable via the operating system. When the program encounters a sector with errors that cannot be corrected by the disk drive's error correcting code, it tries to read the sector up to 2000 times, in order to determine, by comparing the successive results, the most probable value of each bit. The data is then saved onto a new block on the same disk. It cannot be saved elsewhere. In this respect SpinWrite differs from most data recovery software, which usually provides an option to save the recovered data onto another disk, or onto a separate partition on the same disk. Gibson Research Corporation claims their SpinWrite software will diagnose the quality of a disk drive, and make it work as reliably as possible with future use. Its developer, Steve Gibson, says his software was specifically designed to fix sector problems. However, if a hard drive circuit board, drive motors or other mechanical parts are defective, or there is systemic file system corruption, SpinWrite may be of little or no help. In fact, regarding mechanical issues no purely software-based solution would be sufficient to overcome the problem. When a hard drive has begun to develop mechanical faults, a program like SpinWrite may sometimes be able to extend its usable life for long enough to carry out successful file recovery with other specialized software. SpinWrite is declared by its developer to have certain unique features, such as disabling of disk write caching, disabling of auto relocation, compatibility with disk compression, identification of the data to flux reversal encoder decoder used in a drive, and separate testing of buffered and unbuffered disk read performance. Another important feature is direct hardware level access, whereby the drive's internal controller interacts directly with the program, rather than through the operating system. This, in turn, allows dynamic head repositioning, whereby, when reading a faulty sector, the reading head is deliberately moved backwards and forwards many times, by varying amounts, in the hope that each time it returns to the sector, it may come to rest in a slightly different position. By performing statistical analysis on the succession of results thus obtained, SpinWrite is, according to its maker, 
often able to reconstruct data from damaged sectors. And even in those cases in which complete reconstruction proves impossible, Spinrite is able to extract all intact bits from a partially damaged sector, and to copy them to a new block, thereby minimizing the amount of data lost. Certain claims made by Spinrite's makers have proved controversial. The program's claimed ability to refresh aging drives has been met with particular skepticism, while its recovery of sectors marked as damaged by the file system controller is considered by some to be undesirable and ultimately counterproductive. Spinrite is written in x86 assembly language, and runs on any PC-compatible computer, regardless of the operating system installed. It can operate on any attached storage device with a compatible interface. Drives in computers with incompatible processors can be tested by attaching the drive to a compatible computer. Spinrite is distributed as a Microsoft Windows executable program which can create a bootable floppy disk, CD-ROM, or USB flash drive containing both the free DOS MIS DOS compatible operating system and the Spinrite program itself. Version 6 is compatible with hard disks containing any logical volume management or file systems such as FAT16 or 32, NTFS, X3 as well as other Linux file systems, HFS Plus for Mac OS X, TiVo and others, as it operates only on the disk itself. Version 6 is different from previous versions. It offers full access to the entire disk surface regardless of partitioning, self-monitoring, analysis and reporting technology parameters and control of partial scanning within a specified percentage range. Version 5 was limited to AT attachment hard drives. Version 6 may, on suitable motherboards, work on newer serial ATA and USB hard drives, and with any other type of drive via Euro SCSI, 1394 slash fiery were euro that can be made visible to MS DOS through the addition of controller BIOS or add on DOS drivers. The prices of June 2014 was 89 US dollars. Documentation may be downloaded free of charge from the Spinrite website. Issues Solid state drives Spinrite can be run and can be effective on SSDs, but running in a higher level mode than one or two is detrimental as it wears the SSD by writing to it unnecessarily. In episode 194 of the podcast Security Now, Gibson said that he could see absolutely no possible benefit to running Spinrite on a solid-state drive, and later Spinrite is all about mechanics and magnetics, neither of which exist, by design, in an SSD. In episode 338 Gibson clarified it is actually detrimental because, solid-state drives don't like to be written, but also pointing out that a read-only run could be beneficial, Spinrite's level 1 is a read-only scan, and doing that on an SSD makes a lot of sense. Do a read-only scan of an SSD, it'll show the SSD's controller that it's got a problem reading a sector, and then it'll map that out or rewrite it in order to strengthen that sector, if possible. So that ends up being a value for Spinrite on solid-state drives. Also, Gibson posted on his website that Spinrite is seeing many successes with non-spinning solid-state drives. SMART On SATA drives, while SATA drives are supported, SATA controllers that include a processor and diagnostic software can limit Spinrite's ability to obtain and display SMART data. This data monitor does not affect Spinrite's recovery and diagnostics ability. SMART Data when available helps long-term disk maintenance and failure prediction. GRC said in 2006 that this issue would be resolved in version 6.1, anticipated to be a free-of-charge upgrade for Spinrite 6.0 users. As of April 2014 version 6.0 was the current version. Large drives. In certain cases, Spinrite can only analyze somewhere between the first 128 gigabytes and 1024 gigabytes of a drive depending on whether the drive has 512 bytes per sector or 4096 bytes per sector, and depending on the BIOS in use. Spinrite uses cylinder head sector method when addressing the hard drive. This 28-bit addressing scheme is broken down as, cylinder 0 a Euro 65535, head. 0 a Euro 15, sector, 0 a Euro 255, 
this limits spin right to access a maximum of 268,435,456 sectors. Once spin right reaches track number 65,535 it will experience a division by zero error and halt with an error message. This appears to be due to a restriction of the free DOS operating system supplied with spin right. It has been reported that it has problems with very large drives, and that using, say, the Microsoft version of MS-DOS known as Windows 98 DOS 7, SpeenWrite will test the entire drive. A December 2011 page on the SpeenWrite website says that an anomaly, which was named the Roger anomaly after its discoverer, is due to an error in the BIOS of some motherboards which does not affect normal use and hence may not be discovered. This is sometimes resolved in a later BIOS update. A motherboard with this problem will not work with SpeenWrite, but drives can be temporarily relocated to any other motherboard where SpinWrite will almost certainly agree to operate without trouble. Drive size is not mentioned as a factor. See also, List of Data Recovery Software, SMART. References